What we see in terms of therapeutic practice is um, diagnoses that um, come in waves. Mm. Like we see more frequently certain diagnoses at different points in history. And certainly currently ADHD has been uh, one that more and more children are presented with. Um, with while well, we're always trying to think about different ways to um, keep, continue to explore what this might be about. You, you found some papers recently? I found a really interesting systematic review by CASDA. And what CASDA did was he looked at 334 papers looking at the diagnosis of ADHD. And his analysis is that it's grossly overdiagnosed. Not only is it overdiagnosed, but in overdiagnosing, that was seen as more detrimental being diagnosed with a condition you don't have than not being diagnosed at all. So there are negatives that come with diagnosis as well as positives. Now, that's not to say that a child has, who has really difficult ADHD may not benefit from stimulant medication. There are children at the far end who certainly need that, but those children who are behaviourally disturbed and get misdiagnosis, this paper suggests that the negatives outweigh the positives. They talk about a disempowerment of the child. They talk about a particular view of who that child is and how they are in the world. But they also talk about the fact that some of the behaviours that are misunderstood as ADHD are in fact attributable to more environmental consequences. Things like um, abusive parenting, things like bullying at school, anxiety, can all miss, um, present themselves in this way and result in that diagnosis. So I think it's a warning not to rush too quickly to a diagnosis and medication which may lead to more negative effects than the positive benefits we're hoping for. For more information uh, on how to access uh, papers such as this in Catherine's director's notes, uh, follow the links below.